If you're unfamiliar with destructible vinyl stickers, it's basically a sticker that is a lot more permanent than your normal traditional sticker. When applied to a surface, the adhesive on the back will bond to the surface and then if someone tries to take it off, you're going to have a lot of trouble and that little small sliver that they did tr attempt to take is going to just break away. So the stickers do uh, tend to break off and leave small slivers away once uh, someone does try to take them down. But that being said, if they are attempting to take it off, they're only going to get a small piece at a time making it very difficult to get the entire sticker off. I have the spectrum of different side shell stickers here, so I have a custom printed one with one color, a custom printed with two color, a blank that I've drawn on with a paint marker, as well as an all blank sticker. These are kind of the spectrum of stickers that you could be seeing and using yourself, as well as it'll show you the differences and how each of them hold up really great. I've stuck all four stickers to the metal surface, I'll let these set in and bond to the surface over the next few hours, and then I'll start the buff test. Before we get into the buff test, I'll talk about the ink used to print these stickers. I use the same process to print the stickers you're seeing on screen right now. These both were featured in In the Streets Volume 3 over two years ago, and they've both been redocumented in this past month. They're both holding up true, and you can see that the ink on the stickers has yet to fade, and they're both in basically original condition. After letting the stickers bond to the surface for a little while, I'm now going to use assorted tools to try and take the sticker off as traditional buff methods would. Taking a closer look here, we can see that even though the key and scissors were able to get a little scratch on it, they were only able to do a little skinny line at a time. So taking an entire sticker off like this is going to be a very, very timely process. These stickers are about 3 inches by 3 inches, so this is a pretty small area to begin with. And then even picking at it with my finger, coming at that corner there was not much that it was happening and the whole sticker is still holding pretty strong. You can still see the image great. And now let's move on to some of the other options. Here we have a blank sticker that I've drawn on with some paint markers. We're going to see if we can scrape off the paint markers without getting to the sticker to see if they might flake, as well as we'll see how well they hold up together. Much like the first test, the sticker came up with this key and scissors in that skinny line, but also the paint marker didn't actually chip off of the surface at all. I can scratch it with my finger and the paint marker is not going to fall off of the sticker itself, which is really great so that means they're bonding well and that you're not going to have much flaking or anything. You're going to have a real longevity of your stickers if you use paint markers on the blanks that I offer. With this test, we're going to see if we can scrape off any of the printed ink that's on top of the blank sticker. So as you can see here, the ink that was on the sticker only came off once the whole sticker was kind of scratched off. I wasn't able to get on the surface with the X-Acto knife and just take the ink off, which means there's going to be really great bonding there and you're not going to have flaking or chipping with the ink, so it's really going to hold up after it's printed. So we've done all the tests now, I'm just going to hack this one up and see how well it holds up after just going all at it. So as you can see, after testing and hacking up all these stickers, there's still a very visible design, even on this one that I went at for a few minutes, really going hard with the key, trying to scratch as much as I could off. You're going to be able to see that the sticker holds up well, and that there's not going to be any flaking with ink and paint, depending on which you prefer to use on your stickers. If you have any questions about ordering some custom printed or blank stickers with the side shell vinyl, just hit me up in the comment section down below. I'll have more information and links to my web store in the description 
description of the video. As well as I should be doing some more of these tests, maybe on some like wood, cardboard, and other services that you might be sticking to. Be sure to check out Lovebot, he was fortunate to be featured and hacked up in this video. And if you guys have any doubts or any further questions or testing that you want me to do specifically, just hit me up in the comment section down below and I'm open to do those to prove to you that these stickers are definitely going to be permanent and definitely going to hold up against the buff way better than any other sticker on the market. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments as well. That's going to do it for me guys. Peace.